Whoa, hey everybody, we are live. Welcome to another live stream. I am your host, DJ Glowing Eyes, coming straight from Small Town, USA. And we are starting on the second half of going through this Sears toy catalog from 1992. Right here, bing, bang, boom. Yesterday we stopped. We were looking at some toys. And uh, I don't think we got this far. Did we get this far? I'm not sure. Let me take a look here. Yeah, we got this far. Let's just move it along. I remember we were looking at this, the foam spray. There's that foam spray, Ninja Turtles bar soap. Oh, these are tissues here. Okay. Imagine you're a kid and you wanted Ninja Turtles action figures. This would be something your grandma would give you instead of Ninja Turtle toys. She'd look, well, it's Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Grandma. I appreciate it, but man. All right, here we are. Starting with the second half. Yes, we are back at it. Welcome, Elvis. He is back in the building. Here we go. Yeah, smash that effing like button. And we gonna be rolling here, baby. Baby. All right. So we have Barbie going through the girls' uh, toys at the moment. Microphone really works. Yeah, there was a big spring inside there. And whenever you talk into it, just go. Woo -woo -woo -woo. It's like you're yelling at a big spring. But hey. Uh, was this at the time when they had that pregnant Barbie? I don't think so. I think that was the 80s. And they quickly took that off. Barbie dream house. Okay, what is this? Dolls so lifelike. Watch her fuss and swing her arms and legs till she's fed. There you go. A Barbie iron. A baking set. That was the same thing like how they had uh, like creepy crawlers. I remember having a creepy crawlers uh, set. Uh, it's like very, very like a big, huge lamp inside of this thing. And it was like this box or whatever, big, huge lamp. And you'd have these molds you'd squirt with this like Elmer's glue kind of like container you know, get like a green worm or whatever, stick it in there. This hot lamp would heat up this metal tray and you pull it out and let it dry. Sometimes I'd touch it. It'd burn my hand. What's up, man? How you been doing? You're not shopping for Barbies, are you? Scruffy nerf herder? No, I am not. Nah, things are going great, man. It's good to hear from you. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah, things are good. Just got back actually from the mall. A lot of people don't go to the mall anymore. Uh, but I do. I like going to the mall. It's like a nice little flashback. It takes me back to like mid to, to 2000s, mid 2000s. So we went there, had a Cinnabon, you know, all the classic stuff. Didn't get the classic old Auntie Anne's though. Uh, that baby is the same size as that kid. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Anyways, let's, let's move on here. Let's move on. There is more. There is Kenya... Uh, has beautiful hair you can curl straight and put in cornrow braids. Awesome. This looks like, who is this? Oh, this is Mary-Kate or Ashley. You got it, dude. Uh, Michelle from Full House is now a huggable talking doll. When you hug her, she says one of six phrases. Okay. And we got rollerblading babies. All right. <laughs> what is this baby? Talking baby Alice. What does she say? Aren't I a big girl? California roller baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. That is just, that is just classic. Uh, you got the Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, I got a story for you about Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, when I was born, that's when Cabbage Patch Kids were like the biggest thing. And I came out five pounds and, I don't know, eight ounces or something like that. So I was a very, very tiny uh, baby. Uh, that's why I'm like still, I'm a, I'm a man of very st small stature to this day. So I was so small, my dad went out 
to try to get baby clothes when I was first born and not everything was just too big for me. But the only thing that fit were Cabbage Patch Kids clothes. <laughs> so I was dressed up in pa Cabbage Patch Kids clothes uh, as a newborn baby. Uh, that's that's my uh, little connection there. Uh, okay, more baby stuff. More baby stuff. We're getting to the good stuff. This is your appetizer, all right, guys? Uh, the troll thing. I, I don't know. I, it's false memory, but I remember seeing this somewhere. It's like maybe my mom was babysitting some kids and I saw that. I don't think I had that. Swan's Crossing, whatever that is. It looked like actual legit action figures for girls. I don't know. All right, the house of your dreams. You have grandpa, grandma, and Sherry from Resident Evil 2 right there. Okay. Big old stuffed animals, the vanity. Did you collect Cabbage Patch Kids cards? Um, no, I collected the, what was it, the Dumpster Kids or Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, yeah, I did that, and I loved Wacky Packs, Wacky Packages. They were like parodies of everyday like products you could buy. I love that stuff, too. Actually, that's like one of the first videos I did on this channel like four years ago. I bought like a big box of uh, Wacky Packages and... Opened up all the packs. Got a lot of duplicates. That was before I really edited stuff down a lot, so that video is almost an hour long. Uh, these are like dolls grandmas would collect, and just like you'd walk into their bedroom and they'd have like a million of these just in different outfits. Okay. Sears exclusive limited edition. Uh... What is this, H? Sears Carmen is a magnetic mix of vibrant colors and exotic beauty. I used to wear my buddy's clothes, man. I put the outfit on one day and fell asleep in my parents' bed. My mom came in the room and moved. Scared the hell out of her. <laughs> that's badass. Oh, that's funny. Who is this? G. Paco's delicate features. An and authentic Mexican outfit make him irresistible. He's won Doty Award as best in its class. Doll Readers Magazine. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Here's that. Remember the My Buddy dolls. God, it, it's ringing a bell, but I don't, uh, I can't remember offhand. I remember we did have this, this three-minute ice cream maker. It made ice cream, but it tasted like total ass. Wasn't it wasn't uh, as good. We could make pies like you make all this stuff. It was a lot of pretend garbage, but it was, that stuff is actually pretty cool, though. Kitchen, you know. Now we got the see and say. I never really had the ones with the plastic pull down. It was always the string with the little plastic circle. Just. Tsh, tsh. The cow says... It always sounded like the animals were getting strangled. We got a little uh, jiggling monkey here. The marble maze kind of deal. I remember that in kindergarten. Yeah, this, is, this is just a nice little trip down memory lane, everybody. Everybody just, you know, have a good old time. Karaoke machine back then. I remember... I was like 21. I went to a karaoke bar. I didn't know anybody there. Oh, those were cool. I remember in preschool, uh, I went into here and I hid right in the center and everyone was looking for me and I just stayed there. It felt cool. I felt like Batman. <laughs> oh, where's he at? Where's he at? These are actually pretty cool. You could type the thing in and it would talk back. Whatever you typed. I had half of these toys, yeah. Doodle Dome. Oh, that's like an Etch-A-Sketch in, like, sphere form. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to circle that, and when I see Santa, I'm going to tell him I want a Doodle Dome. All right, yeah. Desks. Yeah, when you're just, uh, you just can't have enough school... Bring school home with you. 
Oh, here we go. We got the badass Batman Returns beanbag. Sweet. Yeah, that dude's cool. He's got the Batman magazine out. He's just chilling. What do we got here? Mm, yeah, boring. Oh, go team. Go team, man. The the racing car. Every single, like, thing had the word turbo on it back then. Just, you know, it could be the most boring, basic thing. They just slapped this turbo sticker on it just because... Okay, so for all the clown kids out there, class clown, this would be for, I don't know, the boring kid in class. Oh, you got a little choo-choo train, got a little bit of flair. Got the Batman, this would be mine. Just the guy that's like a kind of like an edge lord. Maybe what's the bed every once in a while. <laughs> and this would be like, I don't know, could be for girls and boys. But you ever seen that meme where it's like a photo like this and it says like this photo smells like pee. That's that's so true. I think that was the race car bed from that movie Grandma's Boy. It could have been. <laughs> I have that. Ah, this bed set with like sports cars and everything. This is the one my uh, younger brother had for sure. And we got girl beds. I kind of always like these canopies, not in pink, obviously, uh, but like just to have like, it feels like you're getting into your own little home or something. A little play tent, Beauty and the Beast, Barbie. Oh God, I remember these play tents. I think I had a Batman one at some point. Oh yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> Let's see, we skipped a page, okay. Oh my God, look at that sleeping bag. Imagine, yeah, you going over to your girlfriend's house and you roll up with that? <laughs> Hell yeah. You know it's going down, brother. Yeah, okay. Look at this, dude. He just knows he's in the best part of the magazine. <laughs> Ninja Turtles. That's uh, so cool. All right, we get to the Playmobil. This is like, I guess, the off-brand Lego. I never really got into Legos or eh, maybe a little bit of Lincoln Logs here and there, but I never really got into Legos. Lego stuff. Sorry if I'm blowing through this, guys, but yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of Legos. Erector set. Never got into that either. I can make a million jokes right now, but I'm going to refrain. Keep it classy. <laughs> uh, these are kind of cool here. The five senses kind of like shows you the nose here, blah, blah, blah. Build your own motor. That's pretty sweet. What do we got? Oh, grow your crystals, gears. All this stuff always kind of fascinated me here. That's one thing I do want to do is uh, get a uh, ant farm at some point. I never uh, messed with that, but I, I would like to get an ant farm. Paint, swirl, bedazzler, make your own stuff. And here is the creepy crawlers that I was talking about. Yeah. These molds weren't this white plastic. It was a metallic uh, tray, and it would just burn the living hell out of you if you touched it. Put it in there. Big lamp in there. Yeah. Creepy crawlers kicked ass. I remember I had like a skeleton. Uh, like a whole skeleton. You could pull apart the rib cage. And you could like make molds of like a lungs. A set of lungs. A brain. This. And like put the brain inside. And put all the organs inside the skeleton. That was like one of the coolest things ever. Alright. This is kind of boring stuff oh look at that bob ross master paint set that's pretty cool how much were they charging for that 50 bucks not bad okay here's for all the future construction workers out there shout out 
Joe Montana autographed jersey, rugged game weight nylon jersey, three hundred bucks. You get an autograph, Ted Williams. All right, all the sports card stuff you could ever want. I think at this point, sports cards weren't worth the crap. But uh, yeah, just the market was just so inflated. What's this? They got a diehard battery sitting here. What's F? Sears exclusive Max Racing cards. Oh, it's like a case for racing baseball cards. Okay, we got Leonard Nimoy. Autographed Star Trek stuff for all you Trekkies out there. Elvis, there you are, brother. Look at you. You had merch and Sears. There you go. Charlie Chaplin. Come on. There you go. I got my coin collection I'm going to be going through at some point. But, yeah, all this is kind of cool. Roman thing. Yeah, you're Sears famous. You made it now. Yeah, Dillard's is a step below, so very proud of you. <laughs> Karaoke machine. Oh, they had the singing machine back then. I thought that was just like a 2000s. Okay, cool. Oh, that would have been so cool to have back in the day. Like being a, a musician, just like having something like that to mess with. That would have been so cool. A little play guitar, drum set. All right, confession time. Hang on. We don't want to skip anything. All right, there you go. All right, confession time. When I first started recording music, I, I had no, like, anybody ever taught me anything. I, I learned everything from scratch. And all I started with, like, $100 worth of stuff from tape player, the guitar, the keyboard. And I would just look for anything to record. And I found this at a garage sale for a dollar. And I bought it just to use it to record my songs on. I was like 14 at the time and I bought this, <laughs> you know. It's like whatever I could get my hands on to somehow make a demo tape and hand out, uh, I used. So by all means necessary, I had this. And that was like my tried and true recording thing for like a long time. Because this microphone actually recorded very well compared to like if you were to record it off of like a um, boom box or something. Uh, books, comic books, that's pretty cool, books, oh, oh my god, there we go, I did a video on this actually, the Eliminator TS-7, now this gun was basically, had, had no ties to movies or a TV show or anything, it just existed as a toy, and that was it. And it was like seven different uh, things in one, weapons in one. Like you take the sheath off, it becomes a, that or whatever. It was very cheesy. The commercial was cheesy as hell. But uh, I remember getting this. This is the one thing I, I got as a kid. And it just totally rocked so hard. Here we have walkie talkies. Billy and Judy are talking to each other, as we see right there. Here's... Guy working the McDonald's. Welcome to the world. Can I take your order? Pool, foosball, all this. I don't know what that is, but air hockey. Let's see here. You got laser tag, a little bowling thing, baseball. Like all this kind of stuff is really cool. We got the board games. Let's see. Did I have any of this? I no, no. I had Monopoly Junior. Mall Madness I didn't have, but I remember playing it at a friend's house. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. Let me move this down. Sorry, guys. Get this. Get it all in the shot. All right. We got Crocodile Dentist. This is the version where you used scissors to pull the teeth out. I have the like little miniature one where you just push the teeth down. And, you know, if you get the wrong one and push down on it, it chomps down on your finger. 
I had that one. I never had that version, though. Uh, oh, a shooting gallery. That's pretty cool. Mr. Bucket. And we got the domino set, chess set. Battleship electronic that would talk. I always had the one that didn't talk, but still just as fun. The Game Boy, the classic. How much were they charging for games back then? 20 bucks. How much was the Game Boy? $80. So we have all these games. The Atari Lynx. 16-bit power in the palm of your hands. And you can play all these games. Hockey. Hard driving. Checkered flag. Crystal Binds 2. Lynx Casino. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Definitely uh, something that's worth sinking that much money into. Sega Game Gear was actually cool. You know, it was in color. Had a backlit screen. Yeah, I yeah I have a Sega Game Gear too. It's really cool. I got it way later on after everything died down and sixty four was out, but it was still pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what are they? oh Game Genie. You could get all the cheat codes and stuff. Let's see what we got here. The NES. They were still pushing the NES. But Super Nintendo was out. Turbo Graphics 16. What do they have? Adventure Island. Yeah, didn't it didn't the Game Gear take like six batteries or something? Or eight? Oh, the Turbo Duo. Yeah. I think at this time, uh the Nintendo was crapping its pants because it realized it, it was already far behind when they released the Super Nintendo. So I think, like, by the end of 92, probably around the time this catalog came out, they started working on the Nintendo 64. Mm. How much for Nintendo? Let me look back here. Sorry, I should have looked at that. Let's see here. Where is the NES? Is it back here? $89.99. That's the Nintendo Challenge set. So that comes with uh, two controllers and Mario 3, plus all the hookups. Yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good deal. Sega Genesis is as low as $99, or, yeah, 100 bucks. But if you want to get it with Sonic, it was $130. Then you got the Arcade Power Stick. Yeah, Sega is, I don't know if they are completely out of business. I know they're not making consoles anymore or game systems, but, um, yeah. Let's see. The Super Nintendo. What does this come with? Uh, Super Mario World 2 controllers. And that was 140 bucks. Sonic was big back in the day. Yeah, I remember my, uh. When I go to the doctor as a kid, there would be, you know, a TV with a game system. It was always a, a Sega system. So that's how I played a lot of Sega games or my buddy down the street. Okay, we got cars. We got slot cars. I was trying to figure out last night, you know, what those were called. And I finally remember there were slot cars. Are those slot cars? No, those aren't the electric ones. Those are slot cars. My bad. Let's see here. We got the Scorpion. Pretty cool. These are all airplanes, slot cars. There's the slot cars. We got trains, little choo choo model outlet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think, did I have any of these? I, I did not. I had this one that was like a case you could fold up. It had a little handle on it. I did have that. What is this? Peace on the Prairie? That's up to you as you command this Fort Apache. Yeah. 
I, I still have that somewhere in a box. He had a big train set. Yeah, my dad had a model train set down the basement. It wound up getting torn down, but it was cool for the time being. I remember this thing, seeing the commercials for it. I always thought it was pretty cool. Bots. Uh, my brother had uh, miniature versions of these. I don't know. They made a miniature line. That was pretty cool. Crash test dummies. Oh, I remember you could push buttons on the uh, action figures and they just blow apart. Like all their arms and legs would just fall from their body. It was really cool. All right. The American Gladiators. This was a show back in the day where normal average Joes could go up against these buff rough and tumble uh, men and women. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. American Gladiators Assault Cannon. Gladiators Nitro and Laser. Yeah, that's what the names they had. You want to go up against Nitro and Laser? <laughs> Enter at your own risk, brother. Here we have, like, Marvel characters. All the action figures. Oh, yeah, the Ninja Turtles. Had the van. I had, uh, I think that, but I got that at a yard sale. A lot of the pieces were gone by then. These were, like, you could pack the accessories in the shell. Like, I guess you see right there. And this, the mutating uh, Xeno Warrior Princess. Oh, God, I forgot all about that. Yeah, and these mutating uh, figures there, those were cool. They've been bringing those back. I actually saw a reissue of these at Target, of all places. I had to stop and take a double look. I'm like, that looks just like how it was back in the day. So, like, they're just... Ninja Turtles are, are still popular. So, like, they're just reissuing a lot of the old school stuff, which is cool. But I ain't spending the $25 they're charging for these now. It's like, I could probably go on eBay spend that same amount for the old version i had this bat cave i had that car I, I didn't have that one didn't have that batmobile but man all this stuff is just so cool oh yeah i had the batmobile that came from the 90 or 89 batman and it came with this plastic shell that you could put over top of it I wound up using that shell as a bowl to store all my action figures in, so it wound up getting cracked at some point. Okay, pogo sticks, nerf stuff. Okay, sports, sports. Rollerblades. I'm going to skim through this stuff because it's not that exciting, at least to me. See what else we got. Swing sets. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> the caption here. Nay, Winnie. Nay, Winnie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you can mow the lawn just like Daddy. Power wheels. Nice. This dude. Totally badass. Okay, these are just bikes. Look at the 90s paint job there. Okay, check it out. Grandma. Uh... Her license, driver's license got revoked, so now she goes to Aldi on this thing. Here's this guy. I think at this point he just pooped his pants. He's pretending he didn't. Golf clubs, okay. I think we're getting to the nitty gritty, which meaning means, uh, yeah, not too good. <laughs> I 
I want the doggy. Can I just get the doggy? Ski ball. I want an actual legit ski ball machine though. I don't want to get one of these buy from Target plastic kind of deals. I want the real thing or not at all. Okay, we're getting into the boring grown-up stuff. Oh, well, we'll skim through it, you know. There we go. Get, get that going. Get the grill. Snow thrower. What is this thing? One... It's a snow shovel. Like, I know what a snow blower is. I've never seen that in my life. It's a 4.5 amp sh snow shovel with magnet motor. Great for jobs that are close to an outlet. Single... S okay. Yeah. All right. All right. You got your standard tools. Of course, Sears is known for selling its tools. For all you youngins out there, never got to... Enjoy all the great, high-quality craftsman tools that Sears sold. All these big things. Uh, my parents never sat these up, but I, I know plenty of neighbors that put these up. And I always wanted to be like Clark Griswold and just kick kick them. Run up into the yard and kick them. Like kick the Santa, just... <laughs> All right, we got some books. I think these are audio books. Ooh, candy. This kind of looks like the ads when you have to walk around and sell candy to old ladies. They'd give you this magazine and the people would look and then they'd order or whatever. That's what it kind of looks like. All right, we got mattresses. Comforters. Mickey and Minnie Mouse. There you go. All right. Yep. Yep. Where's the toys, damn it? I want more toys and candy. Oh. Now, if there's any picture that just, you know it smells like piss. There it is right there. That rug. Oh my God, I think I have that same one sitting right over here. Yeah, I, I use this to like put all my candy and stuff that I'm going to review. I just lay it up there so I'm aware of what I got to do when I enter the studio here every day. My mom had that cuckoo clock. Very nice spread. You know, as an adult, I could really appreciate this kind of stuff now. Not say that I'm, like, crazy about it, but I can appreciate it. You know, let's just say that. Not wild about it, okay? Tea fowl. I have a few pots and pans from that company. All right, this KitchenAid stuff. All right, okay, okay. We're going to get through all this stuff here. This is all the stuff that mom wants for Christmas. Got the cameras. The instant flash that pops up. Yeah, there's something you're never going to see in a magazine again. Got some uh, Twin Tower action. This is all cameras. <laughs> Look at that hair, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the clear craze was still around right there, as you can see. Oh, my God. You said what? What did Derek say? Oh, my God, Kelsey. Chicago Bulls phone. That lets you know. You love sports. Call mom. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is probably like one of the first instances of like FaceTime right here. 
a video phone. Discover a new way. New microphone designs. That's really awesome. What did this call? Or is sixteen hundred dollars back in the day? More than a new iPhone right now. We had this phone in the house. It's a piece of trash. We got a typewriter. Pretty advanced typewriter right there. 400 bucks. Big baseball. Big league baseball encyclopedia. Uh, that would be such a pain in the ass to navigate. Never want to mess with something like that. Rolodex. Look at that. Look at those graphics. Packard Bell. Cumulus. Computer Corporation. Sure, they're gone. I don't even know if Packard Bell's gone. They probably got bought out by Gateway. And then Gateway got bought out. Got computer games. Where's the pagers? Yeah, I don't know. This is like the acoustic version of Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Scroll. Ah, why can't I zoom in? I want to see. This is how you zoom in. You put it closer to your face. I hope we get to the pagers soon. Maybe we could go and find the... Uh, uh, laser discs. Is this a laser disc player? Oh, it's VHS. It's all still VHS. There's a video title maker. Uh, here we have VHSs. Uh, I remember like tapes were so expensive. Like National Lampoon's Christmas was $19. The VHS. Just kind of outrageous. Oh, God. Sorry, I went ahead a little bit. Look at all these mini TVs. A Watchman, a Sony Watchman. You could walk around and watch TV. You'd have to stick that antenna out like crazy, but oh, all these are so cool. Like, I don't care how much technology advances. I still think that these types of things are just so cool. Like, we literally have Sony Watchmans right now today, but, you know, as our phone. But to actually have something you could turn a dial manually and pick up stations locally, that's just something really cool. How much is a Watchman? 150 bucks was a Mega Watchman. I what I'd probably go and opt for the color just because I'd be bougie like that. Uh, $330. Then we got this one. What is this? This is a video Walkman. It's what did it play? Eight millimeter videos. A thousand dollars. And then we got, oh, yeah, okay. Do the kids start to drive you crazy the minute you pull out of the driveway? Casio's color LCD TV for the car. New driving force. Yeah, it's a screen about the size of a Game Boy. A three-inch high-resolution LCD TV. God, that's ridiculous. And then we got some other pocket TVs there. Yeah, see if you were rich back then, you'd be like, hey, baby, I got a TV in my pocket. <laughs> what? No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, check it out. <laughs> this guy's playing the sax. Really cool. There's his girlfriend. These are just the TVs. 32-inch Trinitron TV. And we had, like, a console TV like this. Pocket TV with three channels. Yeah. Fox, NBC, CBS. 
where you get all the real news, the hard-hitting stuff. And then MASH comes on at 11. Yeah. So let me see. I, I skimmed past this. I just want to look. Okay, this big screen TV, this is like the big one. That like, If you were like the rich person in the neighborhood, I mean, you got to get this. What is the size of this TV? 52 inches, $42 monthly you could pay, and it was $2,000. So there you go. Yeah, that wood grain, brother. I mean, can't go wrong. That was... My room growing up, half of it was wood grain, half of it was just like a, a blotched green painted wall that had these bumps all over it. Whoever decided to have the bumps all over the wall back in the day, not a good look. Let's just say that. So we ha uh, you got to have the entertainment center, brother. The glass thing, just tick, the little magnet thing. Tick open it up and you have all this trash there we got the guitars we got a flute what is that an oboe i don't even know what the hell that is clarinet yeah there you go this guy's wearing a nice santa hat Oh, yeah, the bigger the entertainment center, the more money you had. I mean, that was that's just how you flexed back in the 90s. I mean, now everything is like, I don't know if I, you guys have the same kind of idea, but now everything is very minimal. You have just a little stand, you put the TV on, that's all you need. Everything else is through the Internet. You watch everything on the Internet. I still collect uh, DVDs, and if I really like a movie, I'm going to buy the thing on physical media. So I do still have the classic DVD rack tower, but it's not next to my TV. Here we got some Walkmans. What kind of Walkmans did they have? They had all kinds of things. Auto reverse, a bunch of different... Oh, I guess you could preset your favorite uh, radio stations, all digital. It's pretty cool. Oh, they had a CD player back then, portable. 200 bucks. Probably skipped like all hell. Remember the buddy of mine had a stereo like this. The centerpiece and then the two speakers off. Not attached. That's the first time I heard 311 for the first time. CD players. Here's more portable CD players actually. The car discman. Yeah, they're all pretty premium. Phones. I'm still looking out for that pager, man. Those pagers. I mean, we came across that one earlier on, but I'm looking for a nice pager selection. Oh, yeah, there you go. This is like uh, some American Psycho setup. Huey Lewis and the news, sports, they really busted out with that album. They found their own sound. I'm trying to see what kind of CDs to, is this guy keeping. Okay, we got Sticks. Who is this, David Schult? Schulte? Yeah. I saw Sticks live when I was a kid. Not by my own... Uh, Accord, and they were a part of like this, like lineup of a bunch of different bands. There were Sticks, the Scorpions. Uh, my dad took me, obviously. So. But uh, yeah, it was still a pretty fun time. I was like ten, and I saw the Scorpions. I could say I saw a lot of the classic bands from back then. Still would rather see Limp Bizkit and uh, Lincoln Park and Metallica, like we did see in '93. Or 93, 2003. Oh, yeah, the Scorpions kicked ass. I think they were the headliner. And uh, there's a washer and dryer. All the food. And they have 
Let's take a look at all this. They got Canada Dry, Gatorade, Borden. Ready Whip, Ragu. We got some parfait, chocolate parfait cups in there. Ooh, look at that nice birthday cake. Who actually has vegetables and fruit like that in there? I, I certainly don't. Nice plate of fried chicken with a uh, lettuce garnish. Oh, but those right there, those look actually really good. Where's that? I can't believe it's not. Yeah, I can't find it either. Yeah. We need Fabio. Where's Fabio? Oh, here's more stuff. What's in this person's freezer? We've got patio. We got chicken nuggets by banquet. Uh, great little desserts. Flavor rich. Stouffer's. We got Velveeta, Land of Lakes, Philadelphia. Uh, hmm. Still not seeing that. Can't believe it's not butter. Well, dang it. Damn it, Bobby. Uh, and we are to the end. Well, guys, that was one hell of a journey. I'm glad you all stayed around for it. Uh, that is uh, the second half of this looking through the Great American Wish book. Sears book. I have another one from the 90s. Uh, I think it, uh, or it's maybe from the 80s. I may bust out if you guys uh, want me to go through that one too. But uh, yeah, this was really fun to do. And uh, yeah, yeah, everyone remember to smash that like button. Thanks, Elvis. And uh, yeah, if you like to see more of this, uh, I'm, I'm down. This is, this is just cool. But now it's dinner time, guys. Have a good one. I need to trim my nails a little bit. That looks horrid uh but yeah i i will see you very soon in a video um i'm going to be reviewing a bunch of limited edition pepsi stuff that's a few years old do i care uh no it's it's still not bad uh, a couple years ago but yes i will do the 80s one that i'll do that maybe next month but uh yeah that'd be cool uh i gotta eat dinner now enjoy have some mcdonald's and um yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your night, and I will see you very soon. Peace. Later, Scruffy.